part two of the classic game room review of Gears of War, an excellent shooter. I covered most of the technical details in part one about the gameplay as you progress through the story. It follows a linear path. It gets more difficult as you advance throughout the game. The bad guys come at you in greater numbers. The firefights increase in intensity and you have to develop more skills with your gameplay, whether it be active reloading, firing while not zoomed in and aiming, and also using the chainsaw in close range. Now, it's terrible at active reloading. It took me a while to get used to that. That's where you can reload quicker if you can uh, hit one of the bumpers at the right time. I usually ended up jamming my weapon and getting slaughtered. The grenades took a while to get used to. I was a bit disappointed with the variety of weapons in the game and also the ending of the game while being satisfying. And I loved the train level getting close to the end of the game. The ending of the story that you spend hours playing is really nothing more than thanks for playing, now buy the sequel. Gears of War gives you excellent replay. After you win the game, you unlock a harder difficulty level. And while occasionally gameplay does feel a bit like duck shoot, duck shoot and roll, once you get into it, I think there is a lot of technical enjoyment in slugging your way through the various levels, especially as they become more difficult and it's really and it really turns into an uphill battle. Take it that qualifies as an update to get the job done. I commend Gears of War for giving a somewhat interesting single player then campaign, unlike Halo 3, which completely botched it. I wonder if their emphasis on this game was in the excellent online mode and popular multiplayer, or if it really was on the single player. When you watch this show, you know I spend most of my time with the single player campaigns and storyline. That's why I really respect some of these games that are pushing the envelope, like Fallout 3 and Dead Space and Bioshock. While Gears of War is a lot of fun, very interesting, and an excellent value at the price that you can buy this game. Sniper! I am a bit nervous that in the future, many games coming out are really nothing more than carbon copies of Gears of War or Halo 3 or Resistance, putting more emphasis on online multiplayer rather than storytelling. <laughs> After a while, the whole desaturated thing gets a bit dull, which is why I really like the bright, colorful motion and just cacophony of noise and sound and, and screen shaking that takes place near the end of the game at the train level. That environment I thought was brilliant. And that's Gears of War. I guess I'll have to see you next time in the Gears of War series with Gears of War 2.